I've had a week to mess around with the Diamondback nozzle. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the first video we did on it. It's a nozzle with a diamond tip. So how's it print? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Musketeers. Remember, if you love 3D printing and love getting into the deep dives of this industry, as well as coming soon, high-end 3D scanning. Yeah, we're gonna be showing that off here way more often. Make sure that you smash that like button and get subscribed. After taking a look at that Diamondback nozzle from last week, I said I gotta put it on a printer. And well, I knew what printer it had to go on. It had to go on this one. This is my Prusa Mark III S that happens be signed by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Joseph Prusa. Back in the day, don't know if they still do it, when you bought a Mark III S, you could actually put on the notes, can you have Joseph sign the printer? And it took like an extra two weeks to get to me, absolutely worth it. And if you guys have ever noticed it's a little bit shinier, that's because I clear coded the signature because Joe's the reason my business exists. So, you know, there's that. But this thing has blown my mind. Normally when you're putting something like a hardened steel nozzle on your printers to do abrasive materials, you're going to be printing 20 to 30 degrees centigrade hotter. But this nozzle is really different. Real quick, put a comment below of what temp you think we need to print PETG at. No skipping ahead because that's cheating. <laughs> but this thing is insane. And if we look at their website, we can see that yellow brass for thermal conductivity is 116 watts per meter Kelvin. We look at something like steel, that's 50 watts per meter Kelvin. But PCD, which is their diamond tip, is 543 watts per meter Kelvin. And honestly, I absolutely believe it. I am not a chemist. I have two business degrees. I just think this stuff is really cool. And a buddy got me this nozzle, just like he got me this segue to our sponsor, Friendship. <laughs> yep, this is the second video that is sponsored by Friendship. Thank you so much to a good buddy of mine who sent over this Diamondback nozzle for us to check out and review. He's the type of guy that wants someone else to do the work for him. And if you are the same way. You can hit up the pros at 3D Musketeers where we can take over your 3D printing for you. Now, he particularly just wanted to know my thoughts and opinion on it before he went down the road of tuning it himself, but he's going to get pre-tuned profiles for his Mark 3S that'll work out perfect for him. But yeah, if you guys do want to kick a couple of bucks to that creator fund, it is the first week of the month, which means it is the best time to join Patreon for not only us, but your favorite creators and people that you want to go ahead and support. For us, you can go to patreon.com slash 3D Musketeers with tiers starting as low as $1 that helps us make awesome videos multiple times a week. And coming soon, we're gonna be going out into the field to show you how we 3D scan things. We're gonna talk all about the challenges that are presented for doing a 3D scan just like that. But yeah, we appreciate it. And if you don't have any cash to spare, we totally understand. Just make sure to hit that like button, get subscribed if you're not. And hey, a share always helps us get that little extra volume boost to reach new people because Oh yeah, we just passed 5,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that as well. It has been a hell of a ride. A little bit over a year since we passed 1,000 subscribers. And uh, I'm really loving this. It doesn't pay well at all. Actually, barely pays at all, period. But I love what we do because we're able to impact people and help people just like you get into this industry. But enough of this diatribe. Thank you again for 5,000 subs. Let's get back into the video. We can see here that even tungsten carbide is not as great as yellow brass. And I can actually confirm that. I've got a tungsten carbide nozzle, which I'm fairly certain the same gentleman sent me. We've been friends for many years. And every now and then I just get really cool things in the mail from him. And I like to send him some things as well. So, hey, bud, keep an eye on your mail. You got some packages coming. But tungsten carbide, while it is incredibly hard, it is nowhere near as thermally conductive as this nozzle. Again, it is lower temps. Normally you're printing PLA at like 210 to 215, right? The stock Prusa profile for Prusa Mint PLA is 215 degrees centigrade. And for the print that is running right behind me, I am running the Prusa Mint PETG profile because it is carbon fiber filled PETG at 
220 degrees centigrade. Normally, if you run PETG this cold, it is going to have terrible layer adhesion. But for a nozzle like this, its thermal conductivity is so high, it is getting more heat to where it needs to be. This is mind-blowing to me. This could potentially mean that printers without all-metal hot ends could print higher temp materials. Not that I would put this on a printer with an all-metal hot end, because, like, the nozzle's 100 freaking US dollars, right? Like, Let's be real here. There's only so much money you can put into a shitty printer. So I'd rather put it into a good printer. And this is running a bone stock E3DV6. All I did was take the nozzle out of the Prusa and put this nozzle in. That was it. Soon to come, we're going to swap in this one. This is a E3DV6 with a copper block, titanium brake. And this one is carrying a hardened steel nozzle. So we'll do some prints with this. Then we'll swap this nozzle out to the Diamondback. That's going to come in a couple of weeks but otherwise we've left the settings basically normal what i have done is i've removed a couple of top and bottom layers they're not really needed with cfpetg added more infill went to adaptive cubic gave myself some snug support material and oh yeah i cranked the speeds up because if we are going to have an issue with thermal conductivity we will see it when we crank the speeds so i of course haven't seen this print yet but i did get some close-up footage, which you guys will see here as well. And I am absolutely stunned with the quality that this thing is producing with minimal tuning. You can actually see the red Benji boats here in the background that we showed you guys a little bit earlier that at 240, 250, it is stringing like crazy. But when you get to 220, that actually does pretty good. A little bit of stringing still, but I don't want to push it much colder than 220 in fear that we are going to start dealing with some issues with the material and for the keen-eyed viewers out there you might know what next week's video is gonna be huh huh i'm feeling a little microscopic maybe you are too but yeah this thing has actually been performing incredibly well and other than remembering to set the temperatures lower that's the only change that i've done so i can absolutely recommend this nozzle i mean yeah it is a hundred dollars and there are definitely cheaper nozzles out there and i might still say to get a nozzle x and deal with the extra temperature and the only reason i'm saying this is because of the warranty but like tommy boy says did all they sell you was a guaranteed piece of shit? look if you want me to take a dump in a box and mark a guaranteed i'll do it i got spare time no that's not the the case here right i don't see a warranty and that's the thing, and I know, I know, the big warranty that makes you feel good. It does. And to E3D's credit, and to Sanjay's credit, according to them, they've never had a Nozzle X come back. And actually, we talked about this with Sanjay in the Sanjay series, which we will card to right here. And guys, I do want to make a bit of a brief bit here. Coming up this weekend, the 11th, is... The first of, I'm hoping, quite a few fundraisers for the Sanjay Foundation. Those of you that don't know, E3D has set up a charity in Sanjay's name to help makers all across the world, both current and hopefully future makers. And they have a big charity auction happening this weekend, June 11th. And if you are in the UK and you can make it over there, tickets are 150 British pounds. And yeah, go because the money goes right to the Sanjay Foundation and you're going to be able to go hang out with some of the people that are the most influential in this industry. People who when they put a guarantee on something it's not because they need to it's because they want to and I like that about them and maybe Champion X thought the same way Tommy Boy did. We're not going to put the guarantee on the box. We don't care. It will last but just like some people have seen with the Olsen Ruby it can get damaged over time. Now, again, Olsen Rubies are guaranteed. They replace them. So there's that. And I did tighten the ever-loving sin out of that nozzle, and I had no issues with the actual diamond insert. So that's good. We are going to leave this thing on here and let it run for quite some time and see how the parts come off. We're going to run all different types of material on there as well to really dial in and see what we can do with this nozzle. But yeah, I'm incredibly impressed with it. Yes, it's $100. And yes, I still believe a Nozzle X is a better value because, well, it's E3D for one. I like E3D. And Champion X is not a bad company. They're just not known in this industry. It's a great way to start, though. But again, if something does go wrong, from what I can tell, there is no warranty. And when you're spending $100, yeah, 
I want that warm, fuzzy feeling. I will say, printer's rolling great, and I'm excited to see how the part comes out, and I hope you guys are too. That's all I got for you on this one today. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Make sure that you click that like. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching this video. And a massive thank you goes out to all of our Patreon and YouTube channel member supporters. Remember, it is the first week of the month. And that means it is the best time to go ahead and join Patreons for your favorite creators out there. With hours starting at just one dollar a month links in the description down below and if you want to join the team of people listed right next to me you have to join the five dollar tier and higher to get your name in the credits of this video right below me will be our first video on the diamond nozzle so you too can be a diamond handed trader and not some paper handed bitch. and right so that would be a video perfectly recommended to you by the algorithm give it a click you'll probably like it i'll see you guys down in those comments and in the next one take care